We watched a bus back up to unload about two dozen migrant men at Randall's Island, entering tents built on top of and next to popular soccer fields. As staff at the facility instructed them to put on a mask and collect their things, we caught up with Iran Jimenez, who arrived two weeks ago. He told us the facility with rows of cots was nice enough, especially compared to what he encountered on his months long journey from Venezuela. Some did complain to us about it being too hot. Jimenez says he's looking forward to being able to legally work as soon as possible to get his own place. It's under review. Governor Kathy Hochul says that's the response she continues to get from federal officials about expedited working papers. She says she was on the phone with the White House until 11 o'clock last night, pressing them for resources and saying progress finally came Monday morning. After four months of pressing, federal officials have signed off on a lease to allow 10 facilities at Floyd Bennett Field for more than 2,000 asylum seekers. This is a big step because the answer one month ago is no. But New York state taxpayers will once again foot the bill for running the facility on federal land. The governor is also allocating 20 million additional dollars to help the city expedite getting people out of shelter by offering migrants help with asylum paperwork or even tickets out of town if they so choose. They're crossing jungles, they're crossing deserts, they present themselves. The odds of them having all the proper documentation to fill out hours and hours of paperwork probably are not real high. So we need to help hold their hands, help them navigate this.